Hello everyone. Welcome to B1 Engineering Placement. In this part one of the directions, we had the discussion about the uh, basics related to the directions and what is the north, east, west, south, and there's uh, uh, degrees related from the one direction to an another direction. And the left and right sides of this north and where we will go, these are all the basics that we came to know. In this part two of this direction, various other related problems, various kinds of the problems they will ask in the placements that I'm going to be discussing with you. So let us have the discussion on the various other types of the problems. So that's the first problem. First thing for this session is the door of Aditya's house faces east. So let us take this as the starting point and his door is facing the east side. Then, from the back side of his house, he walks straight. In the sense, the first move starts back side means opposite side. The east opposite side is the west side. He has started walking straight. And how many meters he has passed? 50 meters he has passed. Then, turns to the right. West to the right means in the south direction he will move. To the, uh, to, he turns to the right and walks 50 meters again. He walks 50 meters again. Finally, he turns towards the left. Now he is in the north direction. From this north direction, left means the west direction. In the west direction and stops after walking 25 meters again. So from here, he has walked 25 meters. This is the ending point. Now, Aditya is in which direction from the starting point? They have asked. They have not asked the distance. They are just asking the distance. And that too, now Aditya is in which direction from the starting point? So now simply you write, this is a starting point. So you just have the look on this. You just mark the plus mark. You just mark the plus mark here from the starting point, you have to take this plus mark. That is north, east, west, south. So from this point, if we see in which direction is he? In between the north and west means northwest direction. So this is the answer, northwest direction. So like this, we will answer. So suppose if they have asked you in the same question, in the same question, if they have asked you in the last point, from this ending point, in which direction is he means from the ending point, the starting point is in southeast direction, southeast direction. So we have to keen observable at the questions which they are all asking for us and uh, uh, on from which point they are asking. So here they have asked from the starting point. So from that point, you have to write down the plus symbol. So like this, we have to answer. So let's move on to the next problem. This kind of the problems they'll mostly ask. So that is, so for this one, you need to draw this diagram. You need to use a diagram that is north, south, east, and west. And middle of this one, northwest. This is the northeast, and this is the southeast and southwest directions. If Southeast is called east. So what they are asking, this is the actuals. And southeast called is imaginary east. Northwest is called west. So northwest will be called as the west. Imaginary. So southwest is called south. Southwest will be called as south. Then automatically the opposite of the northeast will become south opposite is north. Now we have to see the question first of all, south and so on. What will north be called? What will north be called? So here north, uh, uh, so what will the north will be called as? Northeast. Northeast will be called as? Northeast will be called as? North. Northeast will be called as north. Suppose if the question is like this, so what will be the actual north will be called? 
actual north will be called suppose if the question is like this so this is the actual north so this is between what west and north now the answer will be northwest if they in the question what will be actual north be called means if they ask you you have to consider this is the actual north this is the actual north this is between the north and west in the imaginary so then the actual north will become northwest that will become an answer but they haven't asked the actual north actual north they have asked you what will that is an imaginary north be called so which one will be called as the north the northeast will be called as the north so that is the answer so like this we have to answer for the questions which they had given to us so let's the same thing uh, here is also they have provided for us the same previous uh, rules are only so north south east west now southeast becomes north actually this is the southeast this has become north and northeast becomes west this northeast actually this has become west this has become west and so on what will be the actual west becomes so they are asking what will be the actual west becomes so what is the opposite side uh, uh, this is the southwest southwest opposite west opposite is east southwest will become east south this is the no, actually it was the, it will be the northwest its opposite north opposite is south now what they are asking us what will be the actual west becomes so this is the actual west so actual west actual west will become that is between south and east this is between south and east means what we will call it as south east this will be called as south east so this is will be the answer so in the question whether they have asked you the actual or will be uh, uh, that you, you have to note it down and uh, based on this rules you have to answer this is the another kind of the problems there is a chance of asking in this directions so this is very very important one this is a most frequently and somehow if we know we, if we don't know the basics we will feel them as some difficulty in the in answering such kind of questions here the basic rule is if it is a sunrise if it is the sun rise so generally if a x person is there his shadow is in front of him in front of him means he is in the east direction in front of him means he is in the east direction if x person's shadow is his back side means his back side means in which direction is he facing west side and if the x person's shadow is to the left of him then he is facing the north if the x person is uh, his shadow is at the right side of that one then that will be the south side that is sunrise then if it is a sunset if it is the sunset this will be reverse x shadow is in front side means in which direction will he west side his back side means he is in the east direction x shadow and if he is left side it will be the south side and it will be the right side means it will be the north side so these are all the basics so at the time of the sunrise or sunset they in the question they may ask you they may they may give you the clues that is morning morning means we have to treat it as sunrise at the evening means sunset afternoon means so we can't say so such kind of questions probably they won't ask so now so here the basic things if we know then definitely we can answer such kind of things so at uh, one morning after sunrise rita and kavita were talking to each other face to face at tilak square so which means they are all opposite to each other so rita 
as well as kavita so they may be facing opposite to each other like this or kavita might be in this direction so uh, rita might be facing south she might be facing north and she might be facing south she might be facing north like this any possibility is there face to face and even uh, uh, east to west direction possibilities are also there now if kavita's shadow was exactly to the right of rita now kavita's shadow is the right of rita kavita's shadow is right of rita means uh if the if one person is in the opposite direction if the other person's right will become the left to this the earlier person uh, isn't it or not suppose if you are watching my channel so here see uh, uh, this is my left hand but if you are opposite to me it will be right hand to you and this is my right hand and this will be a left hand to you in its opposite direction if you are all sitting here so like same way kavita the shadow is right of rita means for kavita on which side it should be her shadow is left of kavita so do you agree this one so see here uh, he, uh, her shadow is right side to the rita means actually it will be left to the kavita so if kavita's shadow uh, especially at the morning at the morning his shadow is at the left side means in which direction is she facing kavita is facing north side so as per the rule that we came to know the basics so kavita is in the north direction so kavita is in the north direction suppose uh, if the kavita is in the north direction rita is in which direction Re, uh, rita is in the south direction she is facing she is facing south direction so this is ruled out and this is the correct way now what is the question they have asked which direction kavita was facing so kavita was facing north direction so kavita was facing north direction so like this we have to answer suppose if they have asked you in which direction is rita is facing south direction so that is the way to answer so see the same similar kind of the problems here uh, again one more problem that i have uh, produced here one evening before sunset before sunset means afternoon two friends sumit and mohit were talking to each other face to face that is opposite to each other one's left will become other person's right okay if mohit's shadow was exactly to his right side so that we have to uh, observe here mohit's shadow is to his right side exactly the mohit's shadow was exactly to his right side so which means at the sunset right side means what again mohit is in the north direction north direction so which means he is in this direction north direction now the question is which direction was sumit facing mohit facing they are not asking sumit is facing they are all asking opposite to each other mohit is in the north direction means sumit will face which direction south direction sumit will face south direction so like this we have to answer whether they have given the sunset or sunrise and left to right considerations basics if we know it is easy for us to answer such kind of questions i hope all of you have understood this one same uh, another kind of the problems we will see here the sixth one after walking 6 kilometers i turned right and covered a distance of 2 kilometers see here so uh, here in which direction they are not giving after walking 6 kilometers i turned right they hadn't given in which direction are they they hadn't given in which direction are they and covered a distance of 2 kilometers and then turned left and covered a distance of 10 kilometers in the end i was moving towards the north from which direction did i start my journey so for this one we have to come from end point 
So last to go, we have to go. In the end, I was moving towards the north means at end, in which direction is he? North direction. So reverse, we have to take this one. So at, in the end, I was moving towards the north. So north covered how many kilometers? 10 kilometers. 10 kilometers. Then turned left. So if any person uh, has to move to the uh, uh, left direction, if he is in the east direction only, so if he is in the east direction only, if he turns to the left, then only he will move to the north. Isn't it or not? So first, if he was in the east direction, then after the left means he will move to the north only, which means before earlier he was uh, in which direction? East, dire east direction. Uh, and a distance, a covered a distance of two kilometers means. So here, how many kilometers he has covered? Two kilometers. And uh, before to that one, he turned right. So if any person has to move uh, 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 to the east means in which direction would he to, the, to move to this east direction? So since we, this, we know this one, north, south, east, west. If he is in the north direction, if he is in the north direction, if he goes to this right side, then only he will go to the east. So which means he was in the north direction. So he was in the north direction. So that too, how many kilometers he has walked? Six kilometers. So from which direction did I started my journey means? So in which direction he has started his journey? In the north direction he has started. So this is the answer. This is the answer. So from this point, he has moved six kilometers. And then see here again, we'll reach at this one after north from the north, six kilometers, then turn right east direction, covered two kilometers, then turn left north direction, covered 10 kilometers. In the end, I was moving towards the north. From which direction did he started my journey? So north direction. So like this, we have to move back side. So back side, if we have to move and we have to answer such kind of questions. First year. Another kind of the problems, this is very importantly, they'll ask you, A, B, C, D are playing caroms. A, B are partners, that is face to face. D faces towards north. So, so in this seating direction, uh, actually, uh, see here, uh, D faces towards north. See, D will sit here. And they will face the center. They will face the center. D is facing the north. D faces the north. If A faces west. So if A sits here, then if he faces the center means east to side, uh, uh, he, he, is, he is facing uh, west to side. Then. Who faces towards south? Actually, who are the partners? A and B are the partners. Then A is facing the west means B faces the east. B faces the east. This is the direction, east direction. And uh, who is opposite to D? Then the, in the, among the four members, C. And uh, obviously C faces the south direction. So who has to face the south direction? C has to face the south direction. So uh, simple logical things if we have understood in the problems, then we can easily solve this kind of the problems. And the another kind of the problems, they will ask you like the puzzles. They will ask you in the puzzles. Like these puzzles they will give you. On a playground, Dinesh, Kunal, Nitin, Atil and Prashant are standing as described below facing the north. So we have to solve them. Kunal is 40 meters to the right of the Atil. Kunal. He is 40 meters to the right of Atil. See here uh, on uh, Nitin and facing. Described below are standing below facing, all are facing the north side. If he is facing the north side, 
if he is facing the all are facing the north side so kunals right side means this one right side kunal north face means left and right 40 meters who is the atul dinesh is 60 meters to the south of kunal so kunal is in this uh, side his south side means here uh, below to this one 60 meters 60 meters who is the dinesh nitin is 25 meters to the west of atul so atul here his west side means so in between this one 25 meters so we have to split this 40 meters into so 25 and 15 meters so who is here nitin prashant is 90 meters to the north of dinesh so he is the dinesh and his north side means above side 90 meters means 60 meters already kunal is there and about to this one 30 meters who is the prashan so like this we have already framed this one now just they are asking us who is to the north east of the person who is to the left of kunal so kunals uh, we have to take it as from the last uh, last to front we have to we have to go who is to the left of kunal he is kunal his left side is there any person is there no who is to the left of kunal uh, who is the north east if somebody is in there is one is north east direction his north east direction who is there prashant is there so then we have to answer it as none of the above then if a boy walks from nitin meets atul so from nitin to atul if a boy moves in which direction he has to move east direction in which direction he has to move east direction so this is some clumsy here next if a is to the south of b and b is to the east of c uh, sorry this is an another question which is uh, pasted here i'm so uh, sorry for this one so let's if a boy walks from nitin meets to atil followed by kunal dinesh and then prashant how many meters he has to walk if he has traveled straight distance all the through so from nitin to kunal all the diagram in this diagram we have to just add that uh, uh, all the distances if we add that one it will come 155 meters then you can check on this uh, yourself or also take, just take it as one as a exercise or you can treat it as an exercise 155 meters it will come next one tenth question if a is to the south of b south of b means first we have to write b b south side means below side a we have to take the back and c is to the east of b so first we have to take b and b is east uh, east side is we have to place c in which direction is a with respect to c here very importantly we have to see with respect to whom they are asking c so now at point c we have to take the plus mark suppose they have asked you with respect to a there we have to take the plus mark and whose direction they are asking a's direction so a is in which direction it is between south and west means southwest direction this between southwest direction most of the placements were asked this kind of the problems are only point f is 10 meters to the south of e first we need to write e e from e 10 meters south side we have to place f point g is 
three meters to the east of F. F to the east side, three meters, we have to place G. Point I is six meters to the west of H. Sorry, uh, this line I have missed. Point H is five meters to the south of G. So G is five meters south H. Point I is six meters to the west of H. I means, so parallel to this line, three meters. Parallel to this one. Again, six meters, three meters. We have to draw I. We have to draw I. Uh, six meters to the west of H. Point J is 10 meters to the north of I. From north side, we have to draw 10 meters. So actually up to this parallelly, five meters. Parallelly, about to this one, we have to split this as five and five. J, total five meters to the five meters, 10 meters. Point K is six meters to the east of J, six meters. So from here to here, uh, uh, parallelly three and parallel to this one again three so uh, it will be it will be parallel to this line so parallel to this line so uh, it is k point l is five meters to the north of k so k is north side means above side five meters L. So we have placed all the uh, all the clues which I have provided in this question. Which of the following represents the direction of the point G with respect to point J? So now with respect to whom they have asked? J. So this is the J. We have to take it as a plus symbol. Whose uh, direction we have to know? G. G's direction. So it is between the east and south. So the answer is southeast. So the answer is southeast. And same, uh, same for the same diagram. How far and which direction is point E from point K? So from point K to the E, there is a right angle triangle is formed. Sorry, Kya. So here a right angle triangle is formed and here it is the 5 meters and from this point to this point 3 meters. A right angle triangle E to K distance if we want to know that is square root of that is distance between these two points 5 square 25 plus 3 square 9 that is square root of 34 and that too our question is in which direction is from point k k we have to take as a plus symbol and from this point in which direction is he he, he is in the northwest direction so this is a square root is missed Square root of 34 meters in the direction of northwest. So, like this, we have to answer. And same thing, last one. So, Rocky starts from point Q and moves 25 meters southwards. He has started from Q and he has moved southwards 25 meters. 25 meters. Then he turns left. So from south, left means east direction moves 30 meters. Then she turns right. 
east to right means she will moves to the south direction and moves 15 meters 15 meters to reach the point p to reach the point p now what is the distance of p from q and which direction is she facing with respect to q so with respect to q means we have to take from q so from q so she, she is in this direction that is south east direction so south east direction and there to we have to south east two questions are all there two answers are all there we have to find out the distance so for this one so if we take this as the box parallelly 30 meters and 25 plus 15 Here it is twenty five meters and fifteen meters, forty meters. Now, a right angle triangle is formed between the P and Q. Square root of forty square plus thirty square. Sixteen hundred plus. Thirty square. That is equals to fifty meters. That is equals to fifty meters. And that too, in which direction it is? Southeast direction. Southeast direction. So please subscribe to our channel and uh, for more videos. Don't miss this opportunity. Have a nice day.